Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I believe it's week 47. So we will get started in just a second. Let's say hi and hugs first to Holly, Daphne, Tina, and Allison. Thank you so much for watching and your nice comments. Okay, so this one is some little tag notebooks. So I've got five pieces of paper here. Maybe that's too many. We shall see. But um, five that I thought would work. So they are 12 by 12 papers. And we're just going to um, bend them in half first. Let's see. Try and do it straight as much as possible got one Christmas one here I thought I, I really only had one Christmas scrap that looked like it would work for this so I thought that's okay okay and I had this one that was just a good size I thought and oh another Christmas one forgot about this one this one is some blue fern, and we have Santa. And Santa's going down the chimney in the sleighs parked on the house, and I thought, oh my gosh, this one probably won't even need a whole lot of decorating. Okay, get you straight. Oh, the blue fern studio paper's so thick, you really got to put some muscle behind the... See, isn't that cute? Um... Yeah, some muscle behind it. And this one's a Tim Holtz one that I just had in my scraps. So it was also a good size. I think Rachel got three done and only one decorated. So I probably obviously very, um, I'm, I'm very optimistic is what I am. Okay. And then, so then we're just going to clip off the edges to be and she said you could either go here you could go here I'm not sure which I like better I think I'll go with the design so I'm going to do this one this way I don't know they might all end up this way with the papers that I chose I don't know this one same thing, I think. Nope, this goes up this way. So, perfect. So, this can be the other way. I'm just going to use this as my as my guide. I'll show you, and then I'll pick up my mess. Yeah, just do that. Oh, my gosh. Which is why I need my basket to cut over. This one goes this way, so this one will be be like this these are all about the same um, size and I'm thinking what did I make that I needed this kind of a cutoff so this one will go the other way just because it doesn't have a design that makes it dir directional in any way that one's a bit thinner Okay, and I think this one should go this way. So these four are the same exact size. This one's a bit smaller, so we'll keep that in mind. I grabbed my tray of neutral papers scraps. I also grabbed my tray of, um, I've got some digitals in here that might be fun to put in. So now we build up the, um, the insides and, um, yeah. So this one is just, I think I want I'm not sure if I want jiggity jaggedy or if I want straight, but we'll go with jiggity jaggedy for now. And 
I'm going to just make this just a bit smaller than this one, I think. Okay. And so I think I might, might have that one be... I really only want to go to, to um, the cuts. I'm not sure if that's how Rachel did it or not. I was very sleepy last night when I was watching, watching Rachel. I have a bunch of strips from, um, oh yes, from doing the um, Traveler's Notebooks. And so, doing some Traveler's Notebooks. So, they make great strips for this. And I can, um, I can stagger them so that they are a bit thicker, too. Um, let's see. This one's Christmas. So, do I have any? Well, this would, this would be kind of fun. And it's the exact right, it's exactly right width. Let's go like this. There, that's kind of kind of fun. Okay, what else do we have? I have oh, that's kind of card stocky. That's not gonna work. This is short, but we'll use it anyway. Actually, I think I might want to go this way. The it's got the pretty coffee stain. This, which would be kind of kind of fun to have some text with it, wouldn't it? I'm gonna do this then in half, and I can do I can do a couple of those in in these ones. Let's see how far do I need to? Oh, this is gonna be. Um, this is a little different at the top. I can go clear to the top and then trim it down. So it's about that, about there. This one will do the same. It's a little wider, but it's going to fit just fine. Okay, so there's a couple ready for over there. What else do we have in here? see that okay I'm just going to do that one in half This one, would it be fun to kind of go like that? It would, but then it's too long. So, oh well. I'm just going to kind of fold it and go for it. use a little bit more. Do we have yeah. let me grab my my Christmas scraps and see what I might have. Ooh, that's a good one for the Santa Claus one over here. Well, let's use a couple of those. That's a good one. Good Christmas one. Okay, I think I got pulled out enough there. Most of it's gonna go back anyway. Okay, so let's yes, let's use this one. Right there.
use that one ah, as the middle. That's feeling pretty good. You know what? I think I would like a coffee dyed paper. Let me just... Grabbing some coffee dyed paper from under my table because... I just don't, I don't have a ton over there. And I would like some anyway. I think this might do it for this one. Might as well, while we're at it, I'll just cut this to fit the others. Right there. Okay, so this one's going to go in here. Let's see. Put this one here. I'll just do this one in half and put it in there too. Like maybe right here. I'll just go right down the middle with that. Okay, so there is the guts, shall we say, <laughs> insides, <laughs> the insides of this one. Okay, so that's going to go up to the fold like that. And um, while I have it in my hands, I'm just going to clip it so it's ready to stitch. Okay, one down. So that'll, that's real fun. Okay, so let's do this Santa one since I yanked out all these Christmas papers. Let's do this one. And this can go like kind of all the way to the bottom. Yeah, that's about right. Right about there. So let's use that as our measurement this just needs a tiny bit taken off and it'll be good to go so let's just let's just go up to the s on nicholas and won't that be a fun scrap to use as decoration or something kind of wanted to have this be the front And the first thing when you open it, yep, I like that. Okay, what about, how about this one? I think I'm gonna do this one right in half. It is about five and three quarters, two and a half. I think right about there's in half. And then I can use this one in something else. Okay, put that in. Oh, guess what? We had exciting news. <laughs> we finally got a call back from a guy to do our porch. So we're uh, cautiously optimistic at this point. <laughs> Of course, it wouldn't be until next spring, which, you know, we knew that would be the case. But um, but just to have somebody who seems interested is very exciting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe construction things are slowing down a bit or something. This one might be nice in the middle. Let's do this. This, um, this and this is from Vintage Studio 717. My pal Jesse, there, and um, okay, we need some going the other way. So, I don't need those. I would like this. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. So we'll go this way with this one. That doesn't make that in the middle, but that's okay. Oh, we have this one. And then let's do one more coffee dyed and we'll call that one good. Okay. And we'll go, let's go like this with this one. Okay, so then this one is gonna go in this one and it's gonna get We'll sew it in, but then I'll trim off the papers. Okay, so where are we? We're right here. Do a little clippy on these. Uh-oh. We're hooked. There we go. Okay. And over on this side. Okay, now that one's ready to be sewn in. Okay, moving right along. Let's see, this pink would look pretty in this one. So, yeah, that's about the right size. Okay, let's so put that one that way maybe. Pretty. Okay, um, I need another coffee dyed paper. Cut size, cut to size. And I don't care if one side's not jaggedy. I just. I mean, it's not imperative we use up scraps on this. It's just, it's just nice if you can. Okay. All right. I'm always excited to do Rachel's challenges. You know, I watch them the night before I film usually. And um, I don't know. It's just fun. It's just really fun. I'm going to see what I have in here. Ooh, this might, these might be some that I could use with that. Not so much those, I don't think. Not so much those. That one, though. That might be a good way to use that up. Let's use that. Um, these might be good in my other one. Okay. That's good for a minute. Well, this one can just get, this one can just get folded. I might put that in the front. Maybe we'll go this side since yeah okay it's a good thing scrappy saturday is coming up too the scraps are out of control <laughs> the christmas ones are the regular ones are i should work with christmas just so that i can you know can get that get that done so then this one I might as well do it for that other floral one okay I don't know who my husband is talking to on the phone, but he 
He's very loud. <laughs> Okay, um, would that look pretty under there? I like that better. Put them in between these two. And did I do, I did do a coffee dye. Uh, what else? Oh, I was going to do this. That's right. I'm going to cut that off here. And I'll just cut it off here. I think that will what fit? Yeah. I don't know who he's talking to up there, but yesterday the school called because they were having some sort of problems with their data and they he's their first call <laughs> it's like oh my gosh honey you've been retired for almost three years <laughs> when do you think they're gonna teach someone to do your job <laughs> oh it's good it makes him feel like he's indispensable which he is to me he is. I just found this in my scraps. I thought we'd put that in there. I don't know. I think that's enough. I've got what? Two, four, six, seven, eight. So four pieces. Yeah, about eight long ones. So eight pages. Okay, so that one is going to go into oh into this one but i'm kind of thinking it goes better with this one what to do what to do yeah i'm gonna put it with this one it goes better we'll start over on that one um okay got it and then once again we'll have to clip off by the Can you hear him? Holy cow, he's talking loud. Alfie's probably up there going, what is going on? Okay. Okay, there's number three. Let's do number four. I'm doing okay time-wise so far. And this one. Okay, that was for the other. That's for the other. This one can go for this one. And um let's see what else would we like? How about it's a real pretty yellow? We could go down there with that. Um Looking in my, looking in my area here. What do we have? Mm. Let's see if there's something here. Oh, there's this. That'd be cute. What's this? That'd be good. <laughs> Just randomly pulling things out. Yeah, that is good. Okay. I'm going to do that one like that, but we're going to put you here and then this just cut this will work in the next one too that's helpful if you can do your um do your pieces of paper so that they work and you have a couple pages in each one it makes it go a little faster put that in there like that um I would like something else. Ooh, this is cute. Oh, that'd go better in that one. Um, 
One more piece. One more piece. Let's. Oh, this is too skinny. But it'd be cute there, so let's put it there. We'll just put that one right there, like that. Um. Did we decide that didn't really go? Yeah. Um, I'm looking back behind me. Let's do this. And we'll go this way. It now goes into the scrap bucket. Go like that. Put that in here. Okay, there's that one now. And right there. Some of those need to be cut off, but we'll wait till it's sewn in and then we'll cut it off just in case. Okay. Well, it would help if my Binder clips weren't all bound <laughs> together. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh boy, that was hard. <laughs> goodness. Okay. Okay, that's number four. We are, I am bound and determined to get all these done. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, well, let's get you folded down. Okay, so this is how big we need it. Okay. Let's go like that with that one. Um... Let's go in half with this one. Love this. Can't remember which digit it came from, but okay. And then let's, like, let's do these in half. This is Pink Monarch. I know that. Looking, I think this one would be nice. Here. So I'm going to put that here and that there. And then we'll fold these. And go here. This can go there. And this can go somewhere. Maybe right here. That feels chunky enough. Alrighty then. We are to fold an in. Then these need to be decorated but we'll decorate what we can maybe we'll start with the Christmas since I'll be using those first and then if these get put into my to-do basket well we'll do them one of these first days I need to have a to-do basket too I need to just work on all my bits in my room I think okay so we'll do these two First, okay, and I just have this skinny little thread that I don't even know where I got it, but that's what we're going to use. I should probably use a thinner needle, but this is what I have out. So let's, let's do these mass making style and just poke the holes. And I'm just going to go right in the middle, just a little bit over. 
and a little bit over. How'd I do? Did great. Okay, same with this one in the middle. A bit over. A bit over. Okay, I'll do the holes in these two so that part's done. Middle. Can't go over too far on these because this one has the the slants, you know. Last but not least, okay, there we go. Holes are in. Now we will sew them. Where'd my needle go? Okay. <sighs> I don't know why that felt so rushy, but it kind of did because I really wanted to get wanted to get all these finished. And oh yeah, and I have a half an hour to decorate if I don't know if I can do this. I don't usually leave things attached like this, but I don't know how much thread I really need here. That's way too long of a conversation to be the guy who was interested in doing our porch. So he's either talking to, um, he's either talking to one of our kids or the school is my guess. None of my beeswax, really, is it? Okay, that's pretty quick to sew those in. Okay, one down. Okay, um, we'll just do this other Christmassy one. So, we just get to relax and sew. Gosh, it stayed cold today. It started out like 25 and now it's only 36. It's not like it's gone up much and it's, you know, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, it should be a little warmer by now, but it's not. up. I think Rachel tied one on the outside too. Could do that. Okay. This is perfect thread for this. It's thin and not too bulky. My needle's making a bigger hole than I probably would have wanted, but it's okay. It's okay. 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 
Well, that quit being shaky so that it goes in the hole. I was on a roll too. It's probably because I thought, oh, I'm on a roll. But now it's being, being obstinate. Didn't have the hole deep enough, I guess. Oh my goodness, itchy nose. Mike and I are definitely <laughs> suffering the effects of um, dog dander. <laughs> oh, we're just itchy. But we don't have him for much longer, so I'll just enjoy it while I can. I'll enjoy being stuffy and itchy and having my eyes water. <laughs> I realize there's drugs for such things, but I've just never taken allergy medicine and kind of, I have to take enough medicine. I don't want to take any more, you know? Okay, there we go. All right. So, Mike... Uh, let's see, when you see this, Thanksgiving will be over, but I obviously filmed it prior to, and um, Mike's been making, he made a pecan pie, oopsie, for dinner on Thursday, that's exciting. He said, we have to wait till Thanksgiving to eat it, unless we decide we want some. <laughs> I said, we're grown-ups. We don't have to wait for treats if we don't want to. We're the boss of us. <laughs> I'm not doing these on the outside because, I mean, my holes aren't perfect and I don't want to draw attention to them. I just kind of want that to be more or less in the background, you know. Okay, one more to sew and then we're decorating. Yay. So we'll decorate the Christmas ones first because those are the ones I need. And then if the other ones go, as I say, into the to-do pile, that will be okay. I don't need them right away. There it is. There it is. Okay, there we go, all sewn. Now, um, let's get this stuff put away before I lose it. Where's my, where's my little bag? Okay. All righty then, let's see. I think I had this in there too. Okay, done with that. Now, so on these ones where the papers are up at the tag part, we have to cut off the notepad part. This one too. Because I went a little long on that one. Okay, how are we with these guys? Yep, gotta cut this off. Oh, that just shot all over my desk. <laughs> Didn't go into my basket. There we go. Okay, and I think this one one's pretty okay. Snip off a little bit. Um, now Rachel did like a little snip on the corners. Let's just see how we like it. And that's fine. So that would be on this side for this one. 
Okay. These two. What do we want to do with these two? That one can use a big something. Um, where are my people? Talk amongst yourself. Look at all this funness. Yes, this was fussy cutting that I did at the retreat. And Artsology has a bunch of different sizes. Oh, that's garbage, so I don't need that. Don't know that I'll need that, but we'll set that close at hand. Okay. So some of these people from Artsology were bigger, and I was thinking about having one of these bigger people. Oh, this little girl's so cute. Like, on there like that. I mean, there's little people, too, that would be cute the other way, like that. Ooh, that's really cute. I like the gold with the gold in this. Okay. So I think we're going to go that way with this one. Um, trying to think. You know what would be cute is if there was a, if I had a small tag to go there. Um, what have I got close at hand? I've got, got Tracy tags. I don't know if this is what I want to do or not, but I'm experimenting. Yep. That's what I want to do there. And then we'll put like some kind of sign or something there. Let's see, where are all my things from people? I was wondering about one of these ones from Calico Collage. Peace on Earth would be nice. The sign would be nice, and if it could actually happen, it would be nice. <laughs> Both things would be real nice. Okay, let's see how we like that. Yes, I want something behind it. But it's coming together. Um, ooh, how about a piece of this behind it? Like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There it is. There it is. And as Rachel said, you could put little, um, like little eyelets there and, you know, and use a little string and close it that way. That'd be cute. This guy just needs a little around his edges because... Oh my gosh. So at the retreat, we, we watched the uh, Montana State University and University of Montana game, which is a big rivalry in the state. It's called the Brawl of the Wild. I probably have told you this, but told you that. But um, anyway, Brawl of the Wild. So we, and we had a little bet on it. Oh, I think I did tell you because I, I won the pool that we did. But anyway, um, uh, 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 I spent that whole game fussy cutting <laughs> these artsology. There's so many, but it's so fun. Um, 
so okay all right so this needs to go on first I think I'm gonna use art glitter glue just cuz and just want that just this side of the of the gold stripe and he is going to go right there and then we'll center the other you're so cute little person okay and then this is going to go there Ooh, I just had an idea. I think I might put grom or uh, eyelets on this. Because I had a thought of what I could close it with. Okay, so. Got that. Now. I'm in need of a pin and bottle cleaning again. It's been a while. All right. So then to do grommets, I think I'd punch both sides at once. So they're in the same spot. And I think I'm going to use gold because we've got a little gold going on. Okay, so I'm going to punch these. And because my um, my papers on this one, I didn't go past the where it was cut. I know that they'll they'll fit just fine. So that's good. Okay, let's use some of this bright gold. Then, well, 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 this side. Okay. And then what I was thinking is I think I have some sparkly something. I do. I do. I do. Of this the sparkly stuff that let's see how do I want to do this I think I want to put this through the back and through the loop like so like that so that it's you know permanently attached and then I want to take this and go through this top one just one of them And then I want to tie this in a bow. Oh my gosh, that turned out cute. I'm excited about that. That one's fun. Okay, we have about 10 minutes. What would we like to do with you? Let's ink and think a little bit. Because this one needs a little inking. Yeah, and then I have those others that will be in my to-do that, you know, can be for spring journals or whatever. Okay. So, these are, look at how cute these are. Okay, so what do we want to do on you? I think I might a little of that across the bottom just because it was laying on my desk and then I think I'll put another 
another one of the word things across the bottom and that's about all we need on that one I think um, I can just can use my glue stick for this one we'll just have to see what saying speaks to us there um let's see oh do we have like a little person or something because these are small um, something that oh how cute is she she looks like she's looking at Santa up on the roof that's what we're gonna do. I almost hate to hate to use these because I work so hard fussy cutting them, you know? It's like, oh, they're gonna be all used up and I'll have to print them and fussy cut them again. Horrors. Okay, there's her. And then what would we like? Mary and Bright will work. I'm not sure how that's going to go on there, so let's just give it a try. I'll just clip that over my basket. Well, these are super cute, Rachel. Just like every single one of your... Um, of your challenges. I have loved it. Yeah, I think I'll have it not on her. Okay. And we got two decorated and the other three will be for later. It's gonna go to the edge there. I want to do anything up here I do I do do I have time no but I'm doing it anyway um, I kind of just want to put like a little lace across there not that one where's my little lace here's some yep that's what I want right there. We'll do that and then we'll be done. Sorry if this went long. But sometimes, you know, it's just not done till it's done. Let's clip that little edges. Okay, and there's that one. Okay, so these are Rachel's tag notebooks. I think it's week 47. We have a couple different looks that we finished. So thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you, Rachel, for another fun challenge. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye.